Bam! Welcome guys to another one-on-one -on, -one on the DD Bam Bam and the Margin Call Indicator. This part will be about scalping. They call it scalping for a reason, because it's only for the brave. This is a 15-minute chart from the 12th of November. Bitcoin was still around 16,033. Amazing days. I don't know when you're watching this video, but I hope you can still remember those days. The chart spreads over a day from the 11th around 1 p.m. UTC to the next day around 2 p.m. UTC. I'm hoping to give you an insight to how I read the DD BAM and margin call step indicator to help me make informed decisions on trades in the short time frames, otherwise known as scalping. As you can see, indicated by arrow number one, at around 2 p.m. the chart was just entering a brown ribbon in the upper chart. The upper chart will be this part, the lower chart will be this part. It flagged a short twice in a quick succession. You can, if you look very carefully, also see a green long flag hiding behind the candles over here. This is a sure sign of indecision into the market. If we now take a look to the bottom part of the chart, this part, you can see the white line. This white line is now around the level of 70 like you can see indicated by like arrow number three. The level is around number 70. That the white line is on the 70 tells me the momentum of the market is looking to support and go against a sell-off at this time, even though the blue indicator line is dropping down over the white and the red line. This is where one would need to be very brave, as in many other instances of the blue signal line crossing down over the white line, let alone the red line, would be the signal to leave a long trade you may have at that moment. And we are talking a 45 minute to an hour where you would have your finger on the sell button. But with this white line maintaining more or less the 70 level, this line is the only thing that would stop you from selling. You would also look at the angle that the brown ribbon has. It is kind of flat, like you can see. I would urge you to look back over the charts in the 15 minute to see historical moves and the shape of the ribbons to the rise or the drop in price. That way you can call a sharp rise or a fall, of course. And one hour ribbons are different than the 15 minute ribbons. So I am afraid it's a school day for a while if you want to practice the best types of risk to rewards and trading. And to that end, there is an Excel document that you can use to paper trade for until you are feeling very confident with the calls you make from the DD Bam Bam indicator and other influencing factors like the daily news and the rumors. So we use the Excel sheet to paper trade and to practice these calls and these indicators. However, it may be that you are first sitting down at the desk just to start trading. So you don't have an ongoing trade. You are looking to enter the first trade of the day. You would see the blue signal line cross up over the bottom red line. Like you can see at arrow number four, the blue signal line is crossing up over the red line. A sign that things are looking up. And that's what you would do. Look up to the chart above, to this part over here. And look to see what the mood of the markets are. You see a nice doji candle. By the way, you can see the types of candles in the document in your DD Bam Bam pack. Dojis are signs of movement to come most of the time. Where they appear in the Bollinger Band doesn't always give an indication of what is about to happen. Again, look back through the charts to see the appearance of dojis and how it has affected the price and make notes it is the best way to keep those memories. As you watch the blue line and the candles in relation to the yellow step line, you would start to feel more confident about placing a long trade. You could have taken a brave call when the blue line went over the red line on the Didi Bam Bam indicator over here, or anticipated by crossing the white line, but as soon as the long flag showed, you would have taken the long at around 16,650. So first it crosses the red line, then it is crossing this white line, and then this long flag is appearing on the chart. So you would have taken the long around 16,650. Then as long as the candles close above the yellow step line, you would stay in the long until there is a red flag or your trade profit is closed. If you close that trade on a red flag, a short will present itself 
as the only way now is a small consolidation or a drop in price. So you enter the trade over here. The dojis move above this yellow stepping line. Here you can see the short. And here you can see the moment the red candle is crossing down the yellow stepping line. As you can see, the entry for the short could be at the flag as the blue line did not cross up over the upper green line in the previous long a second time. It went over here, but it didn't cross a second time. So an entry point would have been one of the two points indicated by the two number six arrows in the DD Bam Bam chart. So over here would be an entering or when crossing this red line would be an entry. With the exit coming as the ribbon was narrowing for a close, you would have only known that with knowledge, which what I say is why it is important to do your paper trades, even if you go back in the charts and hide the price and candles to see if your calls were right, you will see that in the 101 part three, your exit for this short presents itself by the way of the ribbon closing. Is the long flag appearing, the blue line crossing up over the red line in the DD Bam Bam indicator. It may not be in that order, but as you can see, it's a four candle, one hour, $100 long. That's a rare scalpers opportunity. Yellow steps start to go upwards. The candles have no tall wicks and it ends with a doji. I will talk about candles and shapes in 101 part three. So from that short on arrow number six over here, guys, you went straight into a long over there. How much you made in those three trades depends very much on what your stake and leverage was. But if you use the 1% of the Bitcoin price, the leverage of 10, you could have easily seen a 40% increase in stake. In the following DD Bam Bam 101 videos, I will cover how candles tell you more than just what the price opened and closed at, and how I use the Fibonacci chart to predict your stop loss and your take profit. And always remember guys to zoom out onto the charts and zoom in at life because you need to try and enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is about. I want to thank you for watching and listening to this one-on-one -on -one about scalping and wish you an amazing day and see you in the next class about the Fibonacci part. I wish you a lot of fun with practicing guys and hopefully a lot of success with doing your first trade. Thanks and see you soon.